Welcome to this introduction to LED controllers from Gardasoft Vision. It's a session aimed as a general overview which both experts and new users of this technology should hopefully find useful. We've titled the session Why Use LED Controllers because we wanted to put the technology into the context of its application environment and we'll mostly be referring to machine vision lighting associated with manufacturing in this session. But in other sessions from Gardasoft we discuss intelligent lighting control with sectors such as traffic and surveillance systems. So what are these drivers from manufacturing? We've looked at manufacturing characteristics of high speed, high value, high regulation and how these are continuously creating new demands for machine vision systems. As examples, faster manufacturing processing, increasing granularity of inspection information, more data about a product and accuracy of information. Along these lines, some recent applications we've been involved with have been an application for OEM semiconductor dye inspection where H channel lighting control was required with multiple presets and here flexible triggering was also a key requirement. An application in the microscopy sector where a series of very fast pulses to three microseconds from four different directions were needed to create one image with the total content. And an application with an IT manufacturer where the customer required low light output from backlight with maximum stability and extremely small steps. Standard controller design was modified here um, to give 20 milliamps maximum current with 4,000 steps each of 5 microamps. As we start to specifically consider machine vision lighting, what are the requirements here as influenced by the types of demands we've discussed so far? Um, increased light for shorter periods, varying intensities for the same scene, multiple colour lights for single scenes, high speed switching of lights, high speed switching of all machine vision components and stroboscope effect required for freeze frames. The resulting selection criteria and performance factors for lighting are then typically pulse control, intensity control, speed, that's both on off and fall and rise times, colour spectrum, physical constraints, high speed sequencing and the overall cost of ownership. As we concentrate now on how LED lighting meets these outlined performance characteristics, we need to first illustrate that LEDs are in fact current driven devices. Whilst LED lights are generally specified as either 12 or 24 volts, as semiconductor devices their output light is a direct result of the current through the device, not the voltage. All LED device manufacturers advise that current control gives more stable light output. This graph shows that small changes in voltage results in large change in current and therefore light intensity. So by driving LEDs with a voltage supply there will be more noise in the output. 10% voltage increase, 25 millivolts, results in doubling the output current. In addition to this, as an LED light heats up, the LED forward voltage will typically vary by 4%, giving a large drift in brightness when driven with a voltage. 1% voltage ripple equals 10% brightness variation. Whereas, looking at it from the current perspective, 1% current ripple only relates to 1% brightness variation. Precision pulse or strobe control. This is where you need to synchronise the on-time of your light with a camera and target product, available to nanosecond timing resolution. Also note that pulsing increases LED lifetime. Overdriving. This is where you require increased intensity from your LED light for a short defined period of time, with up to 10 times overdriving capability. Continuous current power supply, where highly stable continuous current gives repeatable light levels for more reliable machine vision systems. Control of multi-lighting schemes for systems with multiple lighting configurations which require intensity control and high speed synchronization from single or multiple triggers. And remote configuration changes for systems where it is advantageous to have remote setting of lighting system parameters, for example to facilitate efficient setup during system commissioning. Looking specifically at Gardasoft LED controllers, they generally have two main modes of operation, pulse or continuous mode. 
Continuous output is where the lighting is on all the time and you are getting the benefit of a highly stable current supply. This is the easiest mode to use as the intensity of the lighting is the only parameter that needs to be set. Note that no overdriving is permitted in this mode. In pulse mode the lighting is switched on for a fixed time and only when required. The controller receives a trigger signal when the camera exposure is about to start. The delay from the trigger to the output pulse, the length of the pulse and the intensity of the pulse are all configurable. Using pulsing it is possible to get much more brightness and also to freeze the image of moving objects. Gardasoft's controllers have fine adjustment of the pulse timing to one microsecond. Let's just illustrate a few of those basic terms mentioned with relation to triggering. Here we see a diagram of the simple parameters for the user to set. One other factor to be considered would be the duty cycle of the pulses. This is essentially the on time and the off time for each pulse cycle. This is handled safely and automatically by Gardasoft as explained shortly. Triggering has many useful flexible features. For example, with multiple channel controllers you would have the same number of triggers as channels. So a four channel controller would have four triggers. And a useful feature here is that any individual trigger can control any output channel or group of output channels. Now we'll go through a few examples of mode setting for standard machine vision light in both continuous and pulse modes. In this first example the light is simply set to 100% current rating of 400 milliamps. Of course any intensity rating up to 100% could be set here and then the light is benefiting from a highly accurate and stable constant current supply. The same light is now set to pulse mode, again at 100% intensity but this time with a 10 millisecond pulse at a frequency of 2.5 Hz. The settings were made via a simple software interface called Gardasoft Maint which we cover in more detail in other training modules. And in this third example the light is again in pulse mode using a setting of 100% intensity. The pulse width is still 10 milliseconds but the pulse frequency has been changed to 10 Hz. When considering overdriving LEDs, it's worth noting that most machine vision systems are short of light and often more light would give more accurate results or allow the system to run faster. At their specified current rating, LEDs and LED lights output 100% brightness. However, it is possible to obtain more than 100% brightness by driving with more current rating for short pulses. This overdriving, in conjunction with Gardasoft Safe Power and Safe Sense technology, enables users to do this with ease and complete confidence. Most area scan systems can benefit from overdriving, however line scan systems normally can't as they usually need continuous lighting. For applications requiring overdriving, using a current driving lighting controller is critical. To overdrive a light by a factor of 2 you double the current. To overdrive the light by a factor of 5 you increase the current by a factor of 5. This level of accuracy is not possible with a voltage driver as increasing the voltage will not relate to a directly proportional increase in the current. Accurate overdriving then is a major step forward in LED lighting control. Equally it's important to ensure that too high a duty cycle is not selected. Gardasoft removes this potential with its patented SafeSense technology. SafeSense works by using the following techniques. Sensing when a light is connected, finding the current rating of the light, driving the light with safe limits, and detecting faults. So in summary, the use of an LED lighting controller will provide the following. Very stable light output, higher lighting currents, precision pulsing and overdriving, increasing light lifetime, dynamic changing of lighting configuration, and high speed sequencing of lights. Further information is available on Gardasoft.com where we have resources including white papers and application notes.